<coughs> morning, this is D. Uh, today I was going to install a solid state drive. This is a G Skull 64 gigabit. Uh, I got the new copy of Windows 7, 7000 build. As you can see, I have the 6850 running right now. Now, the way I was going to install this today is off a USB thumb drive. I currently am uh, working on my machine still, so. DVD ROM. DVD ROM. So. What I did was I downloaded this copy of. Let's see if you can get it. HP USB disk storage format utility. Which let me format my USB drive in uh, NTFS partition. And then I simply opened up my ISO. Windows 7000 with WinRAW. Or actually, extract files. And I said to go to thumb drive, and I just simply extract them. That's it. It's pretty easy, simple steps. I think anybody can actually do them, so. And now all she wrote is to uh, plug it in, which I've already done. And since I really don't care, I'll reach up in here and I'll just reset her. Alright, so I have to go in my BIOS. I'll come down here to boot. Most computers should be able to do this. And as you can see, my USB is second. It's now first. Uh, of course, now I have to plug in my SCD drive. Which is simple enough. I'm not even going to shut down. Given that this is SATA. Now you should let your drive spin down at least a couple of seconds to get rid of the, the wobble. That's it. Hit F10, save and reboot. And thumb drive is taken off. Pretty simple. So now I'm going to cut this part out. Uh, I'll edit it in. Of course, it is going to be a little slower loading this off the USB than it would be on DVD, in my opinion, but maybe not. I haven't done this before. This is actually the first time I've tried to install an OS from a USB. But actually, it's kind of handy. I mean, that's not going to get scratched up like a DVD will. And I am very, very bad about that. So, I think I'll be using this method more and more. So, I'm going to let that load and uh, we'll come back to later. Alright, well. It didn't take that long to get up to the screen, but now we're here, and let's click next, install now. Uh, 
<laughs> Truly, this is pretty neat. To me, at least. Installing an OS from memory to memory. Truly, that is the future in my book. CDs will be gone here pretty soon, and so will the death of the hard drive. Finally, which is taking way too long in my book. Now, it looks like we're going to have to have a little pause. So we don't want to sit here and stare at the setup a starting screen forever. Okay, so we've hit the read the license terms and uh, slowly rip through them. I accept the terms. Uh, I'm going to uh, upgrade a new version or custom. I'll do a custom full install. Uh, there we see the new solid state drive. And I hit next and there she goes. It was pretty simple, and as you see, I chose this little drive while this drive was installed. I ripped the, I just took it out of the computer while it was on in BIOS, installed the solid state drive, hit F10 and reboot. It left this as the master drive. It should do this on all computers took off. Now I am bad about taking out hardware and installing hardware while the machine is on. Probably not the safest thing to do. Especially with hard drives. Doing that, I mean they're just spinning. The drive literally feels like this. If you pick it up too fast, you should let it spin all the way down. And park itself before you do that. Otherwise, the drive could simply just be dead. Now on this computer, what we're installing on is a 790 Ultra. It's Asus. I have a 2 1 gigabit Crucial DDR 2000 megahertz sticks RAM. I have a 6750 installed right now. That is clocked at 3.6 gigahertz. So, it's not a beefy, beefy machine. But it is working. And actually, I copied off the USB thumb drive pretty quick, in my opinion. Now what they say is installing on SDD drive is a little bit slower, but you know, I really don't see that. It's, in, it's installing just about as fast as it was on a normal SATA drive. No, but what I want to is be able to read files very quickly, and uh, that's the one good thing about solid state drive. So I'm going to turn this video back on after this completes and just let it run its course. It shouldn't take that long. It's just the boring part anyway. <laughs>